Hello, my name is Scott Clement and welcome to Commons Bootcamp RPG. This is a video series where we're going to teach the RPG programming language and the intended audience is people who have not worked in the RPG programming language before. This is the first video in the series in which we're going to introduce the video series and introduce the RPG programming language. So, what I would like to do with this video, first of all, talk about the video series a little bit so that you understand what to expect. We'll also talk about the RPG programming language, the IBM I operating system, which is where people run RPG. We'll talk about how to edit source code. Um, we'll write a Hello World program. We'll talk about how to compile and run programs that are written in RPG. Uh, we'll go on to talk a little bit about how to declare variables, and we'll put together a second program that just shows how to add some numbers together, just as another example, and we'll try that one out. So, about this video series, this video series is produced by Common. Uh, the full name of the organization is actually Common A User Group. Uh, Common is actually the largest IBM professionals uh, user group of power systems users in the world. And Common very much represents the community of professionals that work on the power systems platform. So Common is a big part of our lives uh, for those of us who are involved in working with the platform. Uh, when Common decided that we needed a video series to introduce RPG, uh, we went about looking for uh, a group of people who are interested in this topic. And we thought the best way to approach this was to get people from different angles. So in order to teach this, we got together people who work with RPG and have been doing so for a long time, but we also got together people who were newer to the language, younger people who are just getting started, so that we could get, you know, the different angles or the different viewpoints. We also have a professional educator, um, a man who has been a teacher in the IBM I and RPG space for many years. So we thought with this kind of experience we would have, you know, real instructors who really work in the field and you'd be able to see things from a bunch of them and therefore see things from different perspectives. So we thought that this would be a great way to do things. Uh, one of the goals of behind this series is to kind of teach you exactly what you need to understand. I like to say no drinking from the fire hose. Uh, if you think about the way I've seen some people present topics like this, they just throw lots and lots of details. It's like they want to tell you everything about a topic up front before you've had the chance to really see it or use it. And when that happens, it's like drinking from the fire hose. You know, if you're drinking from a fire hose, the water is spraying at you so fast that you can only, you know, drink a very little bit of it and the rest of it kind of wishes past you and is wasted. And that's kind of how I see it when people pr try to provide too much detail up front. Uh, so what our, what our goal is, is in this series is, is to tell you what's needed to understand the concept, but not tell you every single detail. So to look up every single detail, you can, of course, go to the manuals and, and look it up there. Um, instead, what we're going to do is teach you what we think you need to understand, and once we've shown you it, you know, kind of taught it to you, we'll then demonstrate it for you so you get to see it. And then once you've seen it once or twice, it would make sense then for you to try it out yourself. So we'd like you to use it by giving you an exercise where you can go ahead and try it out. That way you can kind of put the whole thing together and, you know, become a programmer, become um, knowledgeable in this topic and be able to hopefully write your own programs.